live stream gorilla tag well today's video i'm going to be showing you how all right the way i use it is through a pc so if you have a gaming laptop or a pc that's gonna work with this tutorial all right in order to go live you're gonna go up here to this create button and put go live now you're either gonna have to reach a certain amount of subscribers or there's gonna be like a little button that says 24 hours or something it's a weird thing i don't know i'll put it on the screen what it looks like and you click that button you have to wait 24 hours to live stream so if you don't see that and you see this then good all right you're just gonna go ahead and search up obs studio and this should be it this is the logo of it and you're just gonna click it and you're gonna download oh you're gonna download whatever version you have all right all right so i, I made a new a brand new little thing so in order to add audio it's gonna be nothing's gonna be here so you're gonna go ahead and right click and put add add audio capture go ahead and put okay settings audio and put the oculus one for the desktop and the microphone now if you don't see the oculus i'm pretty sure you have to connect like through AirLink, your Oculus to your computer or laptop at least once for it to work. So I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Alright, so next up, how to stream. So this is going to be blank. You're going to go ahead and put add. Add a display capture. Go ahead and add it. And just, you're going to put OK. The stream, you're going to go ahead and put settings. You're gonna either connect account, which I suggest doing, or you're gonna use stream key. So to use the stream key, it's gonna show a box. You're gonna go back to your YouTube studio here, and you're just gonna go ahead and copy this right here and paste it right on here. Now to connect your account, it's gonna bring you over here. You're gonna connect to your YouTube email that you used for YouTube. And you're gonna put your password in. And once you're done, you should show that. Now, the big question, how do you stream Gorilla Tag and get it on OBS? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you exactly how. Uh, quest link should be here. If it's not here, go to settings, system, and under keyboard should show quest link. Make sure this is enabled and go here and launch. All right, now you're gonna see this little bar here, and you're gonna be in this white scenery. You just press your desktop, make sure you have Steam, which is in the link in the description and have SteamVR, which is free. All right, so now you're gonna be in this scenery and you're gonna go on your left controller and press three little lines. Now it's gonna show you all your VR games. If you have Gorilla Tag installed, it should be right here. And boom, that's how you do it. Now from here, I'm gonna just show you some advanced settings that I use like text for codes, a uh, subscriber counter, Let's say you don't want this whole OBS in your way and you just want it on, you know, Gorilla Tag and you want to have OBS open. Don't mind my arm. You're going to go ahead and put add game capture. I have a billion of them. You're going to go ahead and put specific window and you're going to select Gorilla Tag. Alright, so make sure you don't have a billion of them. <laughs> but now it only shows gorilla tag so if i open up another tab it's it's not there so it's only on gorilla tag. all right next i'm going to show you how to put up some codes in if you're live streaming all right you're going to go ahead and right click you're going to go ahead and put text this is not the actual text you name it so just put i'm going to name this test you're going to go ahead and you could select any font you want you can look through these or you can just select no font and just leave the ones there and this is the actual text so let's say code
say it's that code you can choose the color of the text i just use white because if you're if you use black and you're like in a dark spot hiding it's not gonna show so i just use a bright color you could adjust it you can make it smaller you can make it bigger just make it small so it's not covering the screen you know and boom like that now do you want to know how to do a subscriber counter i'm gonna show you you're gonna go ahead and put customized channel analytics and on the side it's gonna show real time under it you should show your subscribers and subscriber account all right next you're gonna copy the link up here you're gonna right click again for the hundred time and put browser then you're gonna go ahead and put the link here so just delete all this then you're just gonna put okay it's gonna load give it a second boom now you don't want all this down here and you don't want it like all big like this you're gonna go ahead and press out on your keyboard and just hold it keep on holding it until perfect size that you want so let's say i just want you know the number put it to the side next to my code here oh boom now let's say i want my little you know my youtube there we go there we go and you just do that boom boom